So we have to solve this for k for a variable. So what I want to do is get all the terms with k on one side and everything else on the other side of the equation. So what that's going to involve me doing is well, let's see. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to um, first off look for like terms. And of course, there's no like terms on any. You know, I can't put any of these terms together right now. So I, I that would make it easier if I ha if I could. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to add 3k. I'm going to go left with my k's. And then I'm going to go right with everything that doesn't have a k with it. So I'm going to go plus 22 minus 4t. And that's I'm, I'm just going to line this up over here on the right hand. See, remember there's that equal sign acts like a fence. So I'm going to subtract 4t. I'm going to add 22. I'm also going to bring that um, plus 3k over here. I guess I could have lined that up under the k, so I, why don't I? Okay. So now what I think I have, I think I have 4k plus 3k times t equals, let's see, I've got 1t left, right? Because 5t minus 4t is 1t. Uh, and I got 9 plus 22 is uh, 31. So far, so good. And now, now is the issue, and this is the hard part that people don't see. I've got a term, two terms with k's in them, but they aren't like terms because that's got a t with it. So the way I can get it, so I'll only have a single k because that's what I want to solve for, is I'm going to factor out that k or undistribute it. And what I'm basically doing is dividing each of these terms on the left by k. If I divide that by k, k, I almost wrote 4, the k is gone. If I divide that by k, the k is gone, okay? But I have it outside. I haven't gotten rid of it. I've just, now I only have 1k. And then to finish this off, I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by 4 plus 3t. So 4 plus 3t. And of course, that's all I can do with that. I can't simplify anything. I can't cross anything out because I've got sums. And that's solved for k. Okay, so this is a similar kind of question. I mean, there's some differences with it, but it's a you know basic idea is the same. So we have to get everything. We're looking for solve for p, so that means I probably want to get all the p's on one side. So I'm going to make an executive decision that says we're going to put all the p terms with p's on the left and everything else is going to go on the right. So what I'd like you to do is stop this video, try to do that moving around, and then come back and see... What, compare what you did to what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to add 13p to both sides. I mean 13 to both sides, sorry. And I'm also going to, let's see, I'm going to leave that 5p alone. I'm going to bring this 14q over here. Let me go to a little bit different ink. So I'm going to subtract 14pq from both sides. Unfortunately, there's already a PQ term. So I'll just line that up. So that leaves me negative 2 PQ. 13's gone. I've got the 5P. On the right hand side I've got 4Q plus 16. So far so good. So now I've got a single, I want to get a single Q. I mean a single P, so I'm going to factor a P out by dividing by P. What you want to remember about that is if I divide both of these by P, it disappears there, cancels off, but I still have it outside here. If I were to distribute this back through, it would be right back where I started, which we don't want to do. Okay, so 4Q plus 16. I should be using this all the same color ink. So now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2Q plus 5. Negative 2Q plus 5. And I can't factor anything else out. I can't do anything more with that expression. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Remember to get the variables that you want on one side. And then if you see a bunch of combinations, you can't get a single term with a P in it. Try doing this factoring trick. Hope that helps.